Hi, my name is Itzigan Baruch, Technical Marketing Manager at GitLab, and today I will show you how to integrate continuous testing into GitLab CI pipeline. Continuous testing helps to deliver applications faster without compromising on quality or security. I will give you a live demo of how you can integrate continuous testing into GitLab CI pipeline. For this demo, I created a spatial pipeline with a few kinds of tests. The first kind is a static code scans for security, compliance, and code quality. The pipeline also will deploy test environment via its Kubernetes integration. And against this environment, we will run some automations such as accessibility testing, functional testing, and performance testing. All test results will appear in a single place in the merge request. The last thing that I want to show you in this demo is our latest feature related to testing, which is code coverage visualization, which helps uh, developers and reviewers to identify lines of code which doesn't have a code coverage. The demo is starting. This is my repository in GitLab. Now I will make a code change into my Java application. Very small change. This is how we do in uh, continuous integration. We push always small changes. and create a new uh, branch. And I will commit the code. GitLab creates for me a merge request. I will submit this merge request. And immediately CI pipeline started. I will click on this link. It will open for me the CI pipeline. As you see, the pipeline is made of a few stages. And each stage is made of uh, one or more uh, jobs. So first it uh, will build my code and create a Docker image for it. And we push it into the container registry. The next step, it will run static code scans. First of all, it will uh, check for code quality to make sure my code is readable and meets uh, quality standards. Then it will uh, check for vulnerabilities in the container. It will also run a uh, SAS. It will scan the code and make sure the code doesn't have any known vulnerabilities. And also it will scan my uh, third party dependencies to make sure that my dependencies doesn't have any vulnerabilities. License scanning will uh, scan all licenses of my dependencies and make sure that we are not bringing into my application unapproved license. Secure detection will scan the code and make sure a developer uh, didn't unintentionally uh, added any credentials, passwords, keys, or uh, API tokens to the repositories. That can be a big uh, issue, especially if it's open source project. Another thing is that after uh, this stage will pass, GitLab, uh, via its uh, Kubernetes integration, will deploy for me a testing environment. So I will have immediately live instance of my branch that I will be able to make some automations on that. This is very valuable for me because uh, I can now uh, create automations during my uh, pipeline. I don't have to wait for uh, IT or uh, QA or anyone to create for me a testing environment. I have a special test environment only for my branch and it will run uh, accessibility testing. This uh, check will make sure my website is accessible. It will also uh, run a dynamic application security testing. Well, it will check for cost site scripting and other vulnerabilities. The functional testing job triggers a matrix of uh, jobs. In this example, I have a matrix of 12 uh, jobs that will test my application on different OS types and different uh, browser types for each OS. And all of those jobs will run in parallel, which will reduce the overall execution time and will provide to the developer his feedback sooner. Uh, I also added in this example a performance stage, and I have here uh, two kinds of performance tests. First, is, uh, we do a load performance testing on the server. I defined in my test script 100 virtual users that will hit the server and measure the time it took to get the first uh, byte. And also another test is a browser performance testing that check the browser rendering and the time it took to render the browser. All right, so I see the pipeline completed successfully. So now I can go back to the merge request to see all test results. View app shows me a live instance of my application. And below, 
you can see that all of the test results, everything is represented in one place, which is uh, make my life uh, easier. So I don't have to go to other applications and other dashboards in order to see all of those uh, test results. So uh, no changes to the code quality. Browser performance test uh, found uh, even uh, three improved uh, metrics. I can expand and see the improved metrics. Uh, um, however, a lot of performance metrics found one improved and one degree and two degraded metrics. The security scans found one high severity vulnerability. SAS detected no vulnerabilities as well as the dependency scanning. However, the container scanning detected one uh, high severity vulnerability, which we will need uh, to fix. We can also open the vulnerability and get more details such as the identifier. We can uh, create an issue uh, with all details. So someone will go and fix that issue. License compliance test detected no new licenses. You can open the report and see the list of licenses that we are using. But all of them looks good. Means that uh, we don't have any policy against those licenses. And accessibility scanning detected one issue. I can expand it and see uh, what is the issue. So before I can click the merge, I will want to fix some of the issues that found. So definitely I will want to fix the vulnerability because it's uh, the severity is a uh, one, which is high. And after I, I fix all of those issues, I will be able to click the merge request. Before I merge my code to the master branch, I will assign this merge request to one of my peers. So we will open the code review and uh, make a review of my code. Now I want to show you how I defined all of this uh, CI pipeline and I will open the .gitlab CI YAML file. This is the CI CD configuration file in GitLab. As you see, GitLab uh, configuration is done via code, which is great. Developers don't need to rely on DevOps engineer to make changes. This allows developers to adjust this file. For example, if they want to add more tests or uh, make some more deployment for environments, they can easily make this change themselves. So let's see how I define this uh, file. Here I define uh, some uh, global variables. Of course, uh, there are no secrets here. Uh, any secret I will not define here, I will define environment variables or in the uh, ASHICorp world, which has a built-in integration with GitLab. And here I define the, the stages and the order of the stages. So we have many built-in templates for many, many common CI/CD tasks. So for example, uh, for build, I didn't have to write uh, the job myself. I just included the built-in template. Same for code quality and dust and browser performance testing. So for the most jobs, I didn't have to write them myself. I just uh, included them from the built-in templates. On some uh, of the out-of-the-box jobs, I wanted to customize the different templates. So this is example for the deploy testing. This is the job name, and this is the stage it belongs to. And here are the scripts that I want that the job will run. And uh, also jobs, uh, you can define uh, artifacts this will be the output of uh, this job that you will, be, you will be able even to download after the pipeline completes its run. This is the definition of the metrics uh, functional testing. And you can see here two GitLab keywords. The first is parallel and the second in, is metrics. And I can define here a matrix of environments. So this will create a matrix of uh, tests for all of those uh, combinations. This is the load performance job definition. We execute load performance with open source tool called K6. I defined, this is the job name, and I defined uh, some environment variables. Those are parameters that I'm sending to the tool. First of all, is the file that contain the URL of the application. And this file I get as an artifact from the, from the previous job, from the deploy testing. Here is, this is the file that will store the URL of my testing environment. And the second parameter that I send is the script name. And it's a folder in the repository. So I can open the repository. And this is the K6 scripts. And here you can see the test definition and the thresholds that I defined for the test and the, the URL, which is the parameter that I send from the pipeline 
to the tool. And the last part of this demo is a code coverage visualization. So again, I'm open merge request for a different project. And if I go to the uh, changes tab, I can, uh, I can see in the right side, the changed code. And uh, I see this line, this, this green line shows me uh, the line that has the code coverage, but here for those lines, for example, I don't have the code coverage. So this as a reviewer, it saves me a lot of uh, time. I don't have to go to JSON files or any other XML files to check which lines doesn't have code co coverage. GitLab visualized for me. So now I can go as part of the review and I can write in a message. And always remember to integrate many kinds of tests into your CI-CD pipelines. Not only unit tests, but also security and compliance tests, functional and performance, to make sure your application is secured, running as it should, and it doesn't introduce any regressions. Hope you enjoyed this demo. See you soon again at my next videos. Bye-bye.